December 16, 2017 by Lewis Casey Shares of Supply Network Limited ASXSNL last traded at 3.53, representing a move of 0.57%, or 0.02 per share, on volume of 16,413 shares. After opening the trading day at 3.5, shares of Supply Network Limited traded in a close range. Supply Network Limited currently has a total float of 40.76 million shares and on average sees 6,509 shares exchange hands each day. The stock now has a 52-week low of 1.87 and high of 3.65. Why more investors are looking into SPASX 200 stocks Australia takes pride with good corporate governance, which is why it is one of Asia's fastest-growing economies today. A nation's good corporate governance improves its credentials as it lures domestic and foreign investors alike to bank on its equity market. CG Watch, which publishes ranks top Asian markets in terms of corporate governance biannually, has included Australia in its recent list. The Australian Equity Market Supply Network Limited is traded on the, the Australian Securities Exchange ASX, one of the biggest stock exchanges in Asia. And Supply Network Limited also included in its list. As of May 2014, over 2,000 companies are listed on the ASX, boasting with a total market capitalization of almost $2 trillion. One of the benchmark indices in Australia is the SPASX 200, which tracks as much as 200 most actively traded stocks on the ASX. The SPASX 200 The SPASX 200 carries on from All Ordinaries, which was formed in January 1980 to serve as the main Australian benchmark index when it was established in April 2000. It had started at 3,133.30 points. Continuing from the history of all ordinaries, the SPASX 200 had hit its all-time low of 1,358.50 points in November 1992. Eventually, it was able to recover, hitting its all-time high of 6,828.70 points during the same month in 2007. In February of that year, the SPASX 200 had first reached the 6,000 mark. Investors had flocked the ASX that time, seeking for safe haven as in preparation for the global financial crisis of 2008 amid early signs pointing out to its onslaught. Australia have always boasted with a compelling borrowing environment, which is why investors have always relied to its economy for valuable investment growth. The SPASX 200 is rebalanced quarterly by a panel of five members, the Index Committee. The review happens on the 16th of every quarter and month, March, June, September, and December. Up to 200 companies make up the SPASX, depending on their liquidity, market capitalization, and other factors. Supply Network Limited liquidity gives it an ability to perform the obligations with ease. The SPASX 200 is a free float market capitalization weighted index, which means that stocks are evaluated based on their respective market capitalizations with respect to their share prices. Given this, stocks held by venture capitalists and the government are excluded since they are not often traded on the ASX. When the components of the SPASX 200 were last reviewed on September 16, six stocks had been removed while six new stocks had been included. Roughly 40% of the index is composed of the financial sector. The SPASX 200 represents about 80% of the total market valuation on the ASX, which is why it is an important indicator of the Australian economy. Similarly, it has a huge impact on the entire Asian economy. Investors can surely benefit from the low interest rates and a healthy equity market in Australia. Supply Network Limited has relatively good liquidity. That being said, investing in ASX stocks is highly recommended for those who are seeking higher near-term and long-term returns alike. Investors prefer the companies like Supply Network Limited where they can easily see its liquidity ratio. More news for Supply Network Limited ASX SNL were recently published by Economic Times. IndiaTimes.com, which released Future Supply Chain Solutions IPOI subscribe issue closes today on December 8, 2017. Economic Times. IndiaTimes.com's article held Future Supply Chain Solutions IPO subscribed 74% on day 2 and published on December 7, 2017 is yet another important article. Supply Network Limited engages in the provision of aftermarket parts to the commercial vehicle industry in Australia and New Zealand. The company has market cap of $143.89 million. It sells truck and bus parts under the multi-sparsed name, as well as offers a range of services comprising parts interpreting, procurement, supply management, and problem-solving. 
It has a 21.27 PE ratio. Receive news ratings via email under your email address below to receive a concise daily summary of the latest news and its ratings with our free daily email newsletter.